This substitute teacher says she wants to clear the air over her arrest for bringing a stun gun to a West Side school. Only on News 4 Jax, she says she was just trying to protect herself. I never said that I was going to taste them. I said that I would use it. I wasn't afraid to use it. That's not saying I'm, I'm going to tase you. That's completely different. Kiara Ansley is facing up to five years in prison for carrying a weapon on school property, a third-degree felony. Police took her to jail Tuesday straight from Jefferson Davis Middle School where she was substitute teaching. Today, she spoke exclusively with Channel 4's Jim Pickett, who's joining us live from district headquarters. That's on the South Bank. Jim, did she say whether she knew it's illegal to have that stun gun at school? Well, she said she didn't know it was illegal. In fact, she said she'd always carried it in her purse and didn't realize that it was there until she had felt threatened. Now, I asked her about these signs that are posted at every school facility that says possession of a gun on school property is a felony, and they consider those stun guns a gun or a weapon as well. So that counts on that. She wasn't aware of that. She says she was just worried about her safety. But most important, what she told me today is that she's sorry. I definitely want everyone to understand that I was not, my intentions were not to hurt their children, the students. I just want them to understand that. Um, I want them to understand that I did it to protect myself. I felt threatened. With her attorney at her side, Kira Ansley explained what happened at Jefferson Davis Middle School. She was subbing for an art teacher and says this is the worst she's seen it in her two years as a substitute teacher. They were extremely rowdy, this group. Really off bat, I knew. This is, this is probably going to be a troublesome group. I've never had students that disruptive before, ever. Ansley says she was asking the students to sit down. A group of them then surrounded her desk. At that point, after asking them to go sit down and telling them that I felt threatened, after the third time, that's when I stated, pull, I, I had my purse in my hand, um, on my lap, actually, and I had my hand in my purse, and I said, I have a taser, and I'm not afraid to use it. Ansley says it was a short time later that school police and others escorted her out of the classroom, and she was placed under arrest. You never noticed the signs at school that any weapon, anything like that, are not allowed? Um, I've, I've seen those signs before. Um, I never thought twice about it. it. It wasn't something that I said, oh, my God. Yes, I have a stun gun. Let me. No, it, it wasn't. I didn't bring it intent. I didn't intend to use it. Ansley says she loves teaching and knows now that she probably won't be allowed back into Duval County Schools to teach. Her attorney is just hoping they can get the charges dropped. I want to see the charges dismissed against her. Um, uh, she, she's learned her lesson. I would hope that the school board would realize that this is a woman who who cares about kids and will at least give her another opportunity. Uh, give them training and maybe this is for the school board to train all substitutes. I shouldn't have said that to the students. My intention was not to hurt them in any way. I wanted to protect myself. I wanted to make sure that I was safe. I didn't feel that at that moment and that's why I stated that. Now, Ansley was released from jail on her own recognizance. Her next court date is April 27th. We're live on the South Bank. Jim Pickett, Channel 4.